This week, we race some hand-me-down RC cars, and we monster them up. Oops, that didn't work. And then we go to the hot rod garage and check in on the hot rod itself. Have a little problem fixing some old RC parts. Check out the beach. And try out our new driving wheel without a table. And it doesn't really work that good. Hey guys, welcome to Cool Toys. <laughs> and we appreciate the Cool Toys crew being here. And yes, Josh does need to wear Tio's toe socks because he forgot that Lily painted his feet and <laughs> nasty, just wrong. It's been a uh, while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. So real quick introduction for those of you guys that uh, don't want to read the website, which I get because I hate reading myself. Um, Josh is an MD, sports doctor from Long Beach, and he has worked with the X Games and several sports teams. Um, and he is the guy who came over and said, who died and made you the cool toys king? So, uh, and for those of you who've been watching the show from the beginning, you know that, you know, I started out building some home theater stores and, and very high end, um, video conference rooms and fun stuff like that. Home automation. My house is completely automated and, you know, maybe someday we'll get smart home on board, uh, or one of those companies, but, um, the guys, when I had the home theater stores, my clients would call me the cool toys guy. So I started a blog and that became what this show is. Uh, motorcycles, cars, smart home automation, audio throughout the house. And I, I hate to admit this out loud as much as I love all the wired speakers everywhere. Alexa for 39 bucks, those little pucks, putting them all over the place is pretty freaking phenomenal sound. Um, pretty, it's, it's amazing what they get out of that little thing. So we're here today talking about uh, the biggest question that we've seen online for the last couple of weeks actually popped up after the last episode talking about RC cars. And I'll admit, I have not played with an RC car since Associated launched the RC-12E. Please don't <laughs> Google it. I will feel old. Uh, but let's just say it's before everything on the table here was ever invented. And the, the amazing piece to me was how many questions people had about RC cars and things that I didn't know that I took for granted. So Josh, having a lot more knowledge because he's got kids and a brother that makes him buy this stuff or send it to him, just not quite working. So he has to buy the parts to fix it. It's <laughs> a fair and, statement. Um, you know, so you can see his side of the table. Those are all his cars. And those are not, let me rephrase that. All the cars on the right side of the table are Josh's. Those are not all of his cars. <laughs> all of the cars on the left side of the table are mine, and those are all of my cars for now. There's one more coming that he told me to buy, and did you bring the parts car? Yeah, all no, right, it's, so we'll talk about that in a little yeah. bit. Um, but, so we wanted to do kind of a primer on RC cars, talk about the stuff that we've been talking about for a while, um, video games, that kind of thing, and, you know, the news, it's um, because technology has gotten so good, um, I'm going to call out, I won't use a name, but somebody told me they were watching the SpaceX launch today. <laughs> they missed the fact that it got scrubbed and were watching the simulation of what they expect and the video is so good now, you gotta kinda wonder, did Kubrick fake the moon landing? Just saying, maybe the minions are right. See, you did send me that video, and I will admit, I, I sat there and I watched the entire um, launch for the 20 minutes leading up to it uh, with both my kids and my wife thinking, hey, this is a historic moment. We're going to see it, on, you know, launch some astronauts back into space on American soil. And very disappointed when the weather wouldn't let it happen. But I, I watched it when they decided to cancel. And then when he texted me that video, he was telling me, the, the launch actually happened, and I was a little bit on, disappointed because I was telling him, I'm like, no, it got canceled. It's not going to happen until Saturday. And, you know, my wife and kids are all amped up to see this thing on Saturday. So I watched this video, and then I had to go Google it. I'm like, did I miss it? Like, yeah. <laughs> crap. Because I got a text that had a picture. It looked, it looked real. So I yeah. go to this channel he told me to go to, and sure enough, there it is, getting ready to dock with the International Space Station. And I'm doing the math. One orbit. International Space Station, that thing would have had to taken off last night. I, that, there's no way. So I really quickly Google, did it take off? No, it's scrubbed. So I go back and I watch, and then I, I went to the information page for that <laughs> channel, and it said, looking at what we are going to expect 
yeah. once SpaceX launches. So that was pretty sad and funny all at once. And we are already getting a ton of comments about the cars. Um, <laughs> somebody's like, I don't have socks on either, but one of the cars on your side of the table costs more than the two of mine. And that's entirely possible and, in fact, <laughs> probable. So we'll, we'll talk about the cost and what you get for the value, too. Good point. Um, I don't even know who Bajango, that must be one of your buddies, Bajango Untamed. <laughs> so somebody barfed. I, I don't know. Horrible T-shirts. You're, wait a minute. You're saying you don't want to buy these shirts? <laughs> wait. That's just, we put a lot of effort into this design. Not. It's actually the only design I didn't put any effort into. Yeah. You just told me, go get me a Jolly Roger and put Cool Toys under it. So I did. And that's uh, I was all on the other a, shirts. That I was on a Goonies effort. kick. Yeah. So they're fun. But um, yeah, ugly t-shirts. Sorry. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but RC cars, for those of you that don't know, which obviously a couple of you on here are big RC car fans. This is what you get. If you watched the last episode, this is kind of what Speed McQueen had. Um, so in the last episode, we had a drag race going between a Challenger yep, and a the Lamborghini. Lamborghini. And this is actually the original controller for the Lamborghini. Um, you know, we probably could have used that in some of the footage. Give uh, you a close up here of this thing. Except I set the Lamborghini on fire when uh, I was messing with some of the electronics and overdid it on the electricity. So uh, basically the speed control or the receiver in the Lamborghini toasted the whole chassis and we ended up just scrapping yeah. it. And and so, but all this else. does is when, it, when it's left, right, it's full left, full right. There's no Yeah, it's basically just no a toggle finesse. switch. Yeah, toggle it's switch. It's kind of no how finesse. my wife drives a car. It's either just a Now you know, the good thing with these with little kids is if you forget to turn them off, genu generally speaking, if you don't push a button, what's the question? Horrible as in, somebody saying that? It's just echoey. Echoey. Yeah. Sound. Apologize for the sound. Yeah, apologize for the sound. Who's say, is this what you're hearing? Yes. Okay. So, okay. So, um, if it's, <laughs> so, so I'm going to let you talk about single channel well both of these you have you brought two controllers this one fake yeah. looks like a little wheel but so it's the same thing it doesn't do anything different yeah since the lambo got destroyed and uh we didn't have anything to showcase for what uh, a, like a base model rc car is that's an actual toy um i do have this this one right here which is just a really basic um about 20 to 30 bucks at any any toy store we'll get this for you and the control setup is very similar uh, it just looks a little different, so there's there's no um, analog control to it. It's really just uh, on or off. So it's either full gas or full brake, um, or full right, full full left. So it's kind of a pain to drive this one, but it gets the job done for my four-year-old. Put the. Okay. So this this one, it's there's there's nothing inherently wrong with the. You know, having just like the, the cheaper toys that you can buy at a toy store for the little kids, but when your kid starts wanting to go a little faster and he starts breaking things, it's really hard to find replacement parts for these things, and it's almost cheaper just to buy a whole new unit. But to save on waste, because I hate throwing these things away with, you know, because a lot of times you can fix them if you can modify some stuff on them. So I stopped buying these when uh, my brother had sent me a, a different car out. And then I let my son drive it, and uh, now I have a whole host of other issues because now I have a whole parts collection, but not nearly as big as his. Uh, so the upgrade from that one was when I went to go visit my brother, we ended up getting the team associated, the, uh, the SC28, which is the short course truck. Uh, and it's a really, uh, really simple unit, just the plastic body on it. Um, little tiny brushed motor in there. Uh, so, but this is the one that I had some issues with and this was the original one that I had told Scott to buy because he wanted something that he could play with us and this thing was virtually indestructible but this thing has been through so much punishment that uh, it had some electrical issues so I, I replaced the battery with a little bit bigger capacity one but uh, one of the, the solder points on the motherboard for the, the receiver actually broke off on one of the circuits, so the car finally did actually die. 
but now it's a parts car, so I have some extra stuff that's on order so I can replace a couple of things on here. And this is the car you told me to buy. I still stand behind it. I absolutely love this car, and this is one of the more indestructible units that I have, given that a four-year-old and a six-year-old are slamming this into everything in the house, as well as taking it off our homemade jumps. Yep. So th that's the one he told me to buy, but I went out and bought this one first. So that's uh, because nobody made the Jeep to match the Cool Toys Jeep yet. So this is um, privacy loss at its absolute finest, and we'll talk about that <laughs> in a minute. But um, so let's go back to the controllers. So toggle switch on and off, and then these are digital proportional. Yeah, so meaning these are, they have a little bit more of a analog feel to them, and then you can kind of roll on the speed as well as the turning. So it gives you a lot more control when you're trying to go through different types of courses. If you're, if you're just stuck going on, <laughs> it's right if you're, if you're sorry, we're having some camera issues, um, but if you're stuck on a track that's really tight and all you had was kind of like that toggle switch feel, you're, you're going to have to keep um, finessing the control back and forth until you finally crash on it. But when you can do a little bit more of an analog control with it, I mean, you can see the, the play and uh, the, the oh, gas you, When on you it. say analog, what you mean is proportional. So if you go half throttle, you have half yeah, throttle. Yeah, meaning, so analog this, meaning you can roll it on, on. That being digital, where it's, it's either on or it's off. Yeah, so zero, one versus. Yeah, this has yeah. a whole range of it. And same with right. the steering on it, too. It's not just a little click. <laughs> yeah. so. um, and then each one of the controls, when you buy the RC cars, you have to kind of dial them in a little bit because the servos, when you, um, when you get the servos for them, the servos have a rest point on them that uh, is not always straight. So when you get these things coming out of the box you, and plug them in, you and have to actually program where center is on it. Otherwise, the car, every time you hit the gas, is just veering to one side or the other. And we notice who has all the spare parts, the guy with children. <laughs> Mine are still both working and not broken. Yet. So, yeah, I got two servos in that box because, you know. <laughs> we'll we'll get to that children. car shortly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... But, so talk about cars. We, oh, you, so before so I go too far. So the baby house car. Yeah, so the baby house car, instead of having the servo where you're controlling it with the, the analog part of the control, there's actually a little switch on here that just resets where the steering actually locks in. Okay. So, and you, you have to sit there and drive it, pick it up, and then crank it over, drive it, pick it up, crank it over, hope you get the right spot. But it is a toy, who cares, just start yeah. driving it around. They're, they're fun anyway, but. Um, this, like I said, these give you a whole lot more control, so it amps yeah. up the fun when you can go faster. And, and that's why when you showed me that little fox and told me to buy that, I bought this one because it goes 35 miles an hour. <laughs> and if I change the gearing and the motor on it, it'll do 75 miles an hour, which I can't. I have a hard enough time at 35 miles an hour in our little street controlling it, so I can't imagine at 75. And the one irony of that car is that I had lumpy tires like this, um, and I went to slicks thinking the slicks would have more grab and instead the slicks do great donuts and we drift and have all kinds of fun with it. But, um, your son just absolutely loves jumping the thing and with the slicks, it bottoms out all the time. Yeah. And speaking of bottoming out, uh, it's a good point to, if you take the body off of that one, you'll see, uh, the differences between, um, something like these ones where these are mid engine and that one is a, a rear engine. And so the, the weight gets pushed farther back and yeah. on his, he's got a composite chassis to it but you can see all the places where it's landed right up at the front and right up at the back because of the weight so the, the weight distribution can affect it how it jumps but depending on how fast they go you can get that gyroscopic effect just by locking up the brakes to pull the front end down in the air um, but that comes down to how good of a driver you are with them you know when my four-year-old's driving these things he's just all gas until it flips over yeah so which is fun to watch but you honest. did see the Lamborghini do a wheelie, so yes. that, that was pretty cool. This so, I don't have enough grip with those tires, even with the motor all the way at the back. But now you can drift it. Well, I did, it could do a wheelie before, but now it'll drift. Yeah, now you drift yeah. it. So my, so my brother, years ago, he had one of the original RC10s, and they came with this weird composite, not quite aluminum chassis, yep. and we lived at the bottom of this hill. And so, uh, you know, Jim, if you're out there watching this, I'm sure you remember this where he had spent just, you know, an ungodly amount of money back then on this car, and that was his baby. And right across the street <laughs> were these housing pads that were tiered as they went up the hill. And 
you know, I'm standing in the, the street, which is asphalt and a curb on both sides, and my brother's probably, you know, 20, 25 feet above ground level standing on this housing pad that's got a nice little lip to it. And my job is to catch the car before it hits the ground because he wants to see how far he can jump this thing. So naturally, me being the little brother, I volunteer to do this. He goes up there, he floors this thing, and I can't even see him, and he just screams, it's jumping. And I just remember seeing the car. I'm looking straight up at this thing, and it must have been about 30 feet above me, and I just turn and watch straight into the curb. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> into a million pieces. And he comes running over, just screaming at me, why didn't you catch it? Yeah. And, you know, I obviously was had no chance at catching it, but that's one of the downsides to these composite chassis is they, they do, when they go, they go. Yeah. The aluminum ones will bend and crack and occasionally they'll snap, but it, it's a lot harder to break the aluminum ones. As well, and that's why um, a couple of your other cars started <laughs> as all nylon and are now yeah. pretty significantly $6 million men cars with <laughs> aluminum parts. Specifically uh, the one that Josh, my, my four-year-old drives. The little white low C. Yeah. yeah. So, so, and then the other one, you have the mini, what's the smaller blue truck? So, um, so know, the, yeah, this so let's is talk the, about scale too. Yeah, we, I was just gonna say, this is a, a, one, a 28th scale, and this is a 24th scale. Okay. Um, the so difference in they look size close, is, but not much. yeah, just very minimal on it. But this is the one where they don't make that one anymore. This is the, the low C. Um, so, pull the lid off that micro one. Micro SCTE. How much aluminum and polished anodized metal is in this thing. So here's the, you know, your receiver with a, a built-in speed control with it, and then there's that servo that was in the box previously. Um, this is your LiPo battery sitting down here, and then that's gonna connect down into the motor, which is directly underneath it. And this is a brushless motor, so there's less drag and resistance on it. And you also don't get that ionization smell from wasting yeah. electricity. So this one goes a lot faster than the standard brushed ones. Yeah. Um, the, the downside to this one is that you'll see this little um, pin or, uh, ring gear here, and you'll see a shaft going all the way up, and that's because this one is four-wheel drive, and it does have a slipper clutch on it. If the slipper clutch isn't adjusted properly, you can strip out these little tiny gears, which may have happened once or twice. <laughs> it, wait, I saw you. In fact, we had a picture. If you look at the last episode somewhere, there's just a picture of the top of a yellow chest with microscopic and Yeah, that was the one that we place. were... Um, so, so I actually have, you can see, extra parts. Here's the, the rear differential with some of the gears in there, and these gears are tiny. Yeah, it's um, like a, a jeweler taking apart a watch. So I don't know. Really small. Yeah, I'll see if I can get them closer to the camera for you guys. And you it, can see some of these spider, tiny, tiny. these little spur gears in here. I mean, they're they're tiny, and you can see that's the out of the front diff there. So yep. when you're when you're trying to replace these things, it's it's a now, the, the one, Surgery. <laughs> you know, when I bought the car, um, you know, my first car was an associated 12E, and that was lifetimes ago. Got to hydrate, sorry. And, yeah, and Chloe's coming to join the show. So we're going to say hello to Chloe, and she's going to hang out with us for a bit. Um, the, uh, when I did some research, I looked at Traxxas. turned out to be one of the brands, and Josh said, don't buy any of the cheap Chinese brands. Well, everything's made in China. But with this Jeep, we figured out the difference between designed in USA and designed in China and made in China because, and I'm going to read straight from this box. And I bought it. And, oh, this, so let's start with Amazon marketing. The reason I have this Jeep <laughs> is I had been looking for a Jeep. And somebody, and I can't tell you who it is, I think it's Traxxas, makes one that's is like that actually called a Jeep? bucks. Well, it has the seven bar. I thought it was called a Surpass. Grill. Um, it, it's called a Venturer, a uh, four-wheel drive climbing car is what the box says. But it looks a lot like my Jeep, so I got it. But that's a car. Um, Clearly, it's a car. But it says Jeep in the, in the ad on Amazon. So Amazon knew I was looking for a Jeep car. This thing just comes out, and it pops up just for you on Amazon. I thought, okay, I'll get it. And this is the epitome of designed in China, made in China, and translated in China. Because this is made of engineering nylon and can strengthen the high-speed car's capacity in anti-collision and beat resistance. So, so I got a couple of issues with that one. One, it's not engineered nylon. It's, it's still in the works. It's, it's still engineering. It's, it's engineering yeah, they're, the they're nylon? Engineering okay. it as we speak. Okay. Yeah, it's being built right there, and, almost, apparently. Yeah. And somehow it's immune to beats, beats. like the headphones. I, 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 I it, maybe it doesn't play hip-hop. I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't Seems work. Seems a bit odd. But, but more importantly, it came with a 
rudder machine. So it's a land yacht. Uh, and I kid you not, I'm going to go, let me pull this box <laughs> up. I'm going to show you a couple things here. Right there, rudder machine, and it can go full function, forward reverse, turn left, and turn right with a rudder machine. So it's a hell of a um, rudder. And more importantly, this is uh, not a toy. It says here it is an authentic hobby grade. That's it. I don't know what hobby. Okay. <laughs> it's not a hobby grade. It's just a hobby grade. Um, so please read the manual. There are many functions related to the dials, lights, and switches that ensure <laughs> you have the best experience with the car. Toys has a talented group of trained technicians to assist you with any questions. It's not a toy, but the toy has a talented group of trained technicians to assist me. Okay. okay. I mean, at least they're trying to support their product. Yeah. Did you call them? No. Oh. I'm afraid to. <laughs> so... The truth is, it came with two batteries um, for right at 100 bucks, four-wheel drive-ish, <laughs> and it is the epitome of limited slip differential because it's <laughs> four-wheel drive when you hold it off the ground, but if you grab one tire, the other two quit, and one keeps going. So when it sits in a ditch, one tire is spinning, and the other three are doing nothing. So when you actually need the traction. Yeah, it is not a positive traction. It is not a uh, direct drive, and it does not have locking differentials. So, But it does have the seven-bar... Jeep trademark. What about gas filled shocks? Front. So, aluminum know. or plastic? I don't know. It looks like there's a little metal in there with a metal center and then uh, some springs. But it also, you notice, just like your hot rod, it not hits. much of a turning radius. No, it hits the fender. So, <laughs> even, Fair with, enough. even with the, they should have put the body up like another inch. I know a guy that can modify that body. Yeah, I've seen his work. <laughs> I'll pass. But hey, guys with Lambos came to me. Yeah, they did, and they left the Lambo behind because they liked it so much after you were done with it. It's still <laughs> so, it's still hanging on the wall because that was a fun little it build. Really, it actually, that was a fun body to do. So, and same thing, that one's got a chassis inside, which cracks me up. Yeah, but it, having these types of things, especially with the plastic shocks, um, depending on what you're doing. So, there's been some terminology that we had questions on too about you know what ver what constitutes a crawler versus right, 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 exactly. So we apparently we mentioned crawlers. And the truth is, this is a four-wheel drive climbing car, <laughs> which I sort of expected to be a crawler. And do we still have, we do. Which we still have more RC cars in the junkyard. Oh, in the e-waste. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, the crawlers are a lot different than uh, what you would get for just a, a run-of-the-mill RC car. Um, so I guess I lied, I have more RC cars technically, but they're in the e-waste because none of these work. But the crawlers have articulating bodies to get over stuff or articulating uh, parts sometimes to get over things. And many of the high-end ones actually have uh, separate gearing and motors for it where you can actually lock up the front and the rear separately so you can get around stuff. Right, and that's the one cool thing is somebody, and I, again, I forget the brand, it might be Traxxas, but somebody does make a licensed Jeep that is a tenth scale, dual motor, four wheel drive, and has done the Rubicon Trail, oh, along yeah, with their actual Jeep. And the base price of that kit was 550 bucks without the radio, without the batteries, and without the motors. That's pretty cheap for a tenth scale. And I went 550, and I still got to buy a radio, batteries, motor. <laughs> no, 100 bucks done. I got my Jeep. Well, you can always swipe one of the receivers and. I know. We, it's one of those controls funny out of another that, one. You know, I, it's, it's. I mean, you uh, got plenty of RC cars you could take some of the electronics out of. They're all going to e waste. <laughs> I doubt they'd even work at this point. No, but. they're pretty trashed looking. So, these, and these are all donated by somebody else. I did not buy these, none of those. Those were all um, our former director or our normal director when we're not doing stuck live at home. stream stuff. Yeah, we're not Sorry, stuck Craig. at home. <laughs> Sorry, Craig. Yeah, you're stuck. Well, he's stuck at home, but. He'd like to be here, I'm sure, playing with some of his own cars. But it's, um, yeah, so Crawler is very low speed. Um, you know, and, and this, that Jeep compared to the, the Traxxas, the Traxxas is a street outside, just Hall's tail car. The Jeep is slow enough. It could, <laughs> you, you know, I don't know about going indoors, but it's Sorry, easy enough. Hacker Jacks made a brilliant comment that said, uh, any married man is beat resistant. Yeah, but that, so... I think he's, he's referring to getting beat down. I get that. So, but how is my, 
RC, if I'm beat resistant, my RC car's beat resistant, does that mean we don't listen to hip hop or you could take a baseball bat to that thing? If I didn't like it, if it didn't match my Jeep, I probably would take a baseball bat just to see what it would do. See if it was <laughs> beat resistant, but, or beating resistance, the way I'd word that. But uh, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, so kind of cool because they, you know, real springs, real shocks. You can see the things. Well, even and this is with stiffeners. This is the thing that amazes me is how soft this still is. Even yeah, yours stiffeners. still drags on the smallest jumps, and especially yep. in the back. But that well, may just be the way when distribution it leans, when for it. When it drifts, it, it starts dragging. Yeah, yours actually yeah. does get quite a bit of body roll even when you're going into a turn, which yeah. is probably why it drifts so so well. Yep. I mean, the, the the smaller scales, the 24 and the 28 scale, they don't drift as much. Um, and then you can see even... So the well, suspension on this one, I took the springs out, but it was literally just these little, there's no gas to it. It was just like a spring. In fact, uh, Brett, one of my buddies, his, he bought one of these as well for his kid, and they lost a spring on it. So I went and swiped the spring out of a ballpoint pen, and it was the same size. <laughs> we just shoved them on there. So That's probably work, why it's so cheap. Work with what you have. So, and it, it, it is bizarre. It's, I shouldn't say bizarre, but it's just impressive that all of this stuff is sold out right now because of Oh, it's COVID. ridiculous. Everybody's at home buying this stuff. I mean, I grabbed this Jeep, and four <laughs> hours later, I thought, you know what? I might want to back up in case I want to. When I got the box that said beat resistance, I thought, okay, I'll buy another one. Sold out. Yeah. And so next ones are going to be a month away. And the, the Associated 28. They're sold out everywhere. It took me that so we've been, what, 12 weeks since uh, COVID, uh, yeah. when you told me to get an RC car, to, since we're stuck at home, we may as well play with something. And um, I, it, it just arrived an hour ago. And I don't know what it is about Amazon. It's like they know. I want to talk about a steering wheel. So it shows up 45 minutes before the episode. I need the stand for the steering wheel, 45 minutes before the episode. My RC28, as we're setting up the cameras, beep, beep. Amazon has just made a delivery to your office, which unfortunately is three blocks from here. So, yeah, that's. But we have. I got that now. I don't think I got that body though. I think I did the buggy or something else. The base is the same. What's cool know. about that that model is that it literally is just the body and tires that are different. Yeah. So well, that's this. The the Bandit from Traxxas. They have a truck. You can get it to make it look yeah. like a monster truck. But if you look at it seriously, it's got the same they quarter some inch of, ground clearance. Some minor things on there. Yeah. So. I mean, in, in Dreamland, I would love to see it with bigger springs and lift it up about that far. We can do it. But and that's you know I may put <laughs> some more blocks in there to try to s stiffen that thing up a little bit. Um, so the, the difference between going from, you know, this, this Jeep that you have in, uh, I mean, the, the Jeep doesn't go quite as fast as, um, no, diesel. it doesn't go as fast as anything on the table. <laughs> I'll admit, but speed it's can cause it, problems this, by far the slowest thing on the table. I mean, just cause something goes fast when you're, when you're trying to race these things, it's, it's a lot about the control. Um, as you've seen it when, is. when you had a head on collision with, uh, this, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, clearly that thing is about twice the weight of it. And, uh, oh, easy. We, we yeah. posted some photos on Instagram of Th what actually that thing happened. That exploded, yeah. And I had to rebuild the entire front end. Um, these two cars are the same, but this one is the limited edition, so it has some different upgrades on it. But because of all the parts that I've replaced on this, anytime I replace the part, I just buy the aluminum if yeah. I can find it. That way it's much stronger. And, and I have to say that this, for all you guys out there that are looking at cars, don't have RC cars, and I'm sure most of you guys commenting and have a bunch of them, but... Let's talk about you paid how much for this one? Two fifty. And how much for this one? Uh, you can they're back ordered right now, but you can find this one online for about a buck forty. Okay, so one hundred ten bucks more for a red body and a motor that goes a little quicker. And the motor is so torquey when your son has it. What does it do every time he hits the throttle? Well, um, it flips there, straight over. There on, used to be there used a, to be a fin on the back yeah. of both of those. By so the way, so if you look at the back, you can see how <laughs> busted up this body is now. So the special limited edition is totally worthless, <laughs> except as a toy. Yeah, uh, hopefully you weren't <laughs> waiting on uh, unit four thirteen out of two thousand three. Yeah. So because you ain't getting it. <laughs> but it still runs like a champ, and uh, it's been pretty indestructible. Except uh, when your son drives it, the first thing it does is go. Blunk, because it's got so much torque and just enough stick in the tires that he's, there's no control whatsoever. In that yeah, it, it definitely has a lot more torque so. than, than this guy does. Now, which the, one did we do the hedge jumping with? Was it the red one, too? The red one was yeah. doing the hedge jump. So if you go back a couple episodes, you'll see this one and that one jumping through a hedge. And uh, This one clearly jumped better. It did. 
the weight, <laughs> yeah. The weight distribution makes a big difference. Well, the in weight the and the speed, because I had just got the Traxxas and I did not quite have the directional control, so I was launching to <laughs> barrel rolls and all kinds of interesting things. Yeah, whatever it. happened to the flowers? They grew back. They did. All yeah, right. Yeah, that's fertilizer. It does amazing things. <laughs> our uh, our current director is shaking her head. Yeah. <laughs> The good part is the outside of the house is my problem, so she suffers through it. So one of the other things that I wanted to touch on uh, is the is fact that you don't have any clips in your body because well, you're so lost. Well, that's because I was I was showing well oh. that too. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I purposely left the clips off. But yeah, I did lose quite a few clips. They just so pop off every time. Wait we a minute. It. Let's get a camera to make sure I have four clips before he leaves. <laughs> Since they happen to be the same size. I have a size. Whole, whole bag of clips, and I actually did. I had the clips on it. They're sitting on the All table, right. but. Yeah. Um, so the parts difference when you see some how these things are, the durability of them go. So in that head-on collision, we yeah. had oh, the uh, nylon just exploded. So I'm gonna switch well, positions. Well, that's with um, this one. the the other version of this, the electrics. Both of these a arms shattered when Liam hit the uh, curb straight on full speed. Yeah. So just um, destroyed the car. When you look at the two chassis-wise, you'll see that the front shock hoop is drastically different, and then the shocks are drastically different. So the, the stock shocks on the limited edition one come in aluminum, and you, can, you can't buy the replacements. You, it is what it is. This is what you get. Um, I bent the piston in one of, one of these. I had already replaced it, though. But because these shocks blew out in that head-on collision when it ripped this off, I ended up upgrading to the other shocks. But if you see the one of, there it is, the front one. Um, this shock actually split and came out, so it doesn't even hold together anymore. Um, and that's because this was plastic, but the aluminum one doesn't. The downside to the aluminum one, this is the old piston from the aluminum one on here. This is what the good shock is, and that's what the piston looks like because the piston is now bent. Where are you? There it is. <laughs> so that piston, it, it won't go in and out anymore, so I had to replace that, that shock on here. So... Parts make a big difference. Uh, the other upgrades we had to do because we, we ripped off the A-arms going off of a jump. So the, the front A-arms are aluminum. The bulkhead that they're going to is also aluminum. Um, there's a couple of other so aluminum pieces in that front what I'm hearing is my end. slow $100 Jeep might be a better investment because it probably isn't fast enough to break itself. Un until my <laughs> son hits you, <laughs> which at some point he will mow you down. Oh, no, I'm not letting that... Thing go over there but I did. Um, I ordered the upgrade, so my my son's going to have the same motor that mine does. So he'll just flip on his back and not go anywhere again. Yes. So the racing is going to be easy. Although I have to say, we have been one of the cool things with digital proportional was we set up little tracks and we make them tighter and tighter, so that <laughs> Josh, the four year old, and I race, and I got the big car, and you know I'm going pretty slow, just trying to get around the track, and he's going you know on off on off on off. But we've been able to kind of get him to come back. So it's been a neat teaching thing to watch him learn. Yeah, his hand-eye coordination has been going through the roof. And then yeah. him helping me rebuild these cars, he's, he's really getting mechanical. And then I actually ordered some plastic bodies. Um, I ordered a couple of uh, one of these and then one for the orange one because my daughter wanted to get into it. But she wanted a pink car. So Yeah, um, and you can buy them clear and do whatever yeah, you want. Yeah, so I bought the clear yep. bodies, and yep. I'm going to let her paint her car. And then she'll feel like she has her own car yeah, to drive with yeah, us. Yeah. So, so it, and then this this week though we took the Jeep and we put a camera on it. Yeah, so that's the other. And you made fun a little part. track, um, and we went through tunnels and all kinds of stuff. So when you when you look at what's happening on here, is there's a piece of Velcro on the on the lid, and then a piece of Velcro back here. So I don't remember where the battery went for it, but uh, oh, what, it's sitting over. We've on been using, we've been playing with uh, these FPV cams that uh, are really light and tiny so you can find these on Amazon for about 15 bucks for the camera and they just plug into a little tiny battery so we just mount that on the roof with that and then put the battery on the back of the car and then you connect it to a receiver so we've been trying to find the best way to to do this and we reached out to a, a few companies and Fat Shark got back to us and they're gonna be sending us some stuff to play with so we could do so some we'll more have, yeah, FPV up, racing. Fat, Fat Shark driving Radio control cars. But in the meantime, um, I had this one, which is a very basic um, $30 receiver. It plugs in through USB. It acts as like a USB camera with any computer. PC, this won't run on a Mac, but you can plug it into an Android phone and still use that. So that'll work in the meantime. It's just the range on this thing's not that great. 
So. so and of course, <laughs> he left it over here for me to play with, and we're all Mac. So <laughs> so far, Zippo. But I didn't get to drive the Jeep around, and it was it's it's a little jittery because we didn't you know really mount it good. But it's a very different perspective. It's a lot more like a video game because you you have this very limited field of view where when you're running around a track, you kind of know where the track is and what's next, where you got to memorize it in this field of view, not like racing where you can turn your head, but just this much. I don't remember what the field of view on this one was. I want to so, say it was 60 degrees. Yeah, it's but not, it's it, it, that size. You feel like though, tunnel vision. Yeah, but you're a tunnel, well, because you're looking at it on a 50 inch television. But so it does up the game on your, your driving, trying to go through the course that we had oh built. Oh, yeah, it did. Going, yeah, shooting through. He found a box that was probably 12 by 18 to make a tunnel to shoot through. <laughs> and then a jump in front of it. So you could tabletop one way and then come back through the thing. And then you had to turn before you hit the jump going the backwards way. Yeah. And doing that FPV, you know, even on a 50-inch screen, you, uh, you know. And there's – I expected – quite a bit of lag from the time the camera got to the screen. Oh, it was almost I, I was impressed with how barely anything accurate because if I was about to hit the box on the screen, you'd see the box and you hear the bunk right as it hit, you know, outside. So um, once we get the, um, the swag the from, yeah. from Fat Shark, we're going to do some FPV racing and show you guys uh, just how much fun this can be in first yeah. person. And it'll be fun to put it on the drone because that's still fine. Josh, he hasn't destroyed that yet, I hope. No, nope, it's, um, it's and done. And if not, I know where drones can show up. <laughs> Sorry that Reb, the drone got, did die. Uh oh. Let, uh, it actually wasn't Josh that broke it, it was Lily. Uh, my daughter wanted yeah. to try and fly it, so we were flying it in the driveway, and she took out a branch, and uh, one of the motors just fried. Really? Bummer. So, so we have spare props. But yeah, the, the props were rock solid on it, but yeah. something happened to one of the motors, and I so, looked online, and you can't find it. All right, so it. let's start with square one. If somebody is going to buy a kid, a radio control car, my personal thought is avoid any of this stuff. Just yeah, don't I, even waste the 19 bucks at, at Target. If you're buying them for a two-year-old, that's fine. Yeah. Because they're going to pick it up, they're going to throw it, they're going to drop it. Yeah. But if they're older than two, and I mean all the way up into You want them to learn anything mechanical. Yeah. But I I, at the same time, watching what Liam did to his electrics, yeah. I would probably stay out of that range too. Um, you know, admittedly... I mean, this thing has been one of my favorites to play with when it works. But, at the, <laughs> but you, you know, would you recommend that for somebody's first RC car? Absolutely not. This is, yeah. this is someone who loves the sport. This, right. this is a classic piece of RC history because they don't make these anymore. They're hard to find parts for, but they are an absolute blast to play with. It so, just, But at the same time, if you want to have one that's... But that's, this scale is by far my favorite scale. Right, and I... I I'm the bigger, better, better, faster guy. I like the two, the bigger Jeep and the bigger Traxxas. And yes, this is worth more than both of these. This is probably – actually, this one cost you the same as both of these cost <laughs> me. So this was about a buck and a half, and that was under 100 bucks. Um, so for one car, I got two. And I got two bigger cars, so I'm happier. And that's yeah. just me. That, and that's the difference. But the one thing I think – and I don't know this yet because I haven't got mine – that Associated 28 that disappeared. Oh, that's right here. So I think what I have kind of heard you say is that for the starter, for somebody that doesn't have an RC car now and wants something that's almost go anywhere, probably not sand at the beach, but just about everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, it doesn't quite have the torque to get that, some of the sand. But that little thing, it'll run in the house, it'll run out of the house, it's fast enough to have fun, and you can make some jumps out of cardboard boxes. Yeah, I don't care who you are or how old you are. This should be in everybody's collection, even if you're not an RC fanatic. This, this, if you can buy them when they're in stock, they're at that fifty to sixty dollar price point. It, if you look online now, they're sitting well over a hundred bucks. Most importantly, about this one, where's the controller for it? Uh, it's, it's about this. Yeah, it's the same size. size. I just left it. Yeah, so it's about this size. So, in the cool toy sense of wife not approving, you can hide this in a drawer. <laughs> That'll you fit in your glove box one. too. I was busted the minute that thing showed up. But this will fit in your glove box. Your wife will never know. And it's got a 12-volt charger. Yes. You, so you can plug it right in your cigarette lighter, run off, play, and she'll never know. Yeah. So in the cool toys world, if you get the uh, lose a star because my, or gain a star because my wife said no, bingo. So I, th I think this is kind of like the starter one. And the question is everybody has to make up their own mind what's next. Do you go to the Losis, which are admittedly fast? They're a little more expensive, but they do. those are quicker. They're almost your red one in fact i think when we drag raced them we were almost side by side yeah so 
one, I probably would have beat you if one. I wasn't doing a wheelie. Yeah, and that's the problem is you got so much torque and no weight to hold it down. Where with this one, when I've got the sticky tires on it, the weight keeps it on the ground and it just yeah. launches. I mean, the front tires came up about a half inch at launch, so it's kind of a John Force drag racing launch. And it's fun to watch. <laughs> that part, you know, it, it's. I don't know. I, we're, we're stuck at home, so I have a whole different attitude right now about a lot of things. Which is, um, which is why this thing has really just come into its own, because I'm stuck at home. And, you know, everything happened yeah. at the tail end of winter. So there's days where I can't take these outside because it's raining. But yet, I can still put the camera on Where this do you thing. live? We, we don't have Seattle? rain here. No, <laughs> we do not have rain here. The, yeah. Well, it's better than Arizona, it where it just dirts on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you get the monsoon where you get rain for an hour and then dirt for the next six days. But this this thing, you so. can drive in any conditions, because if it's pouring down rain outside, you could still stick a camera on and just have a blast going through your own house. Yeah. And I mean, so. just weaving in and out of chairs under the table. Like, this this thing has been so much fun for, for my kids and I. And I mean, it, like I said, for 50 bucks, like, this thing has been a blast. Yeah, and it, you know, that's why I ordered it, is I figured 50 bucks, it, you can't go wrong with that one. To play with it. And the more importantly, is it something small enough I can go play? We, you, me, and your son can go race in the front yard in a little court, little short course where as good, you know, as easy as, as it is for me and Junior to run the 10 against the low C, that is just too big. And as we found it when we went in the street and we made the bigger racetrack <laughs> and, he, you know, he kind of – I won't place blame. I'm the adult. I should, you know, but <laughs> – when we had the head-on incident, the, Los the Traxxas had no damage whatsoever, and the Losi had an explosive. It was, it was <laughs> yeah, and pretty I comical. Wish, it's one of those things that I really <laughs> wish we had a high-speed camera on it because it was parts everywhere. <laughs> and poor little Joshy, it's not working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if you go back on, <laughs> on some of my Instagram posts, at Cool oh, Toys Doc, yeah. um, there's some photos of when it was all busted up, and yeah. you could see everything it, just hanging just off the car. Launched. And that's... You know, the, the gray Jeep, it's probably going to become set deck for the next, when we go back to the studio and, or we go to the big studio for live audience, just because it matches the Jeep. And, uh, you know, <laughs> it is kind of cool. It's a weird little thing. It's, it's the not, Surpass? Yeah, the sur it's a Jeep <laughs> Surpass, by the way. It's a venture surpass. Yeah, venture, venture, a venture, a venture -er climbing beat car surpass that is with beat a rudder machine. That is beat resistant with, <laughs> with but a But hopefully, rudder, hopefully by the time machine. the stay-at-home order is done, the nylon will be done being yeah. engineered. So yeah, hopefully. But it's you know it's funny because it looks like it's four-wheel drive and it is okay to drive around. But if I'm gonna go play with Joshy or just go out in the street and run around, nah. Yeah. It, it's not the, the I'm sorry. The Traxxas for the extra forty bucks just smokes it. <laughs> I'd, I'll take the two-wheel drive Traxxas every day of the week for 40 bucks more, yeah. 50 bucks more, um, and just have a blast with it. And unfortunately, as I say, 40, 50 bucks more, I already mentioned that I bought slicks. Yep. And we found that the original <laughs> tires were glued on, so I had to buy another set of rims. So I have two sets of rims, two sets of... St I mean, that's the one of the things that sneaks up on you about this hobby is... You know, I still get upset with my brother, and I'll call him angry, like, why would you make me buy this thing? I'm yeah. always replacing parts. As you notice, the pile of parts <laughs> he's got here on the table, none of that's mine. That's all his. My two cars work <laughs> without spare parts. It's, so. it's still fun, and you guys already know me by now. I love to modify things just to yeah. see what I can do to it. Stick a Lamborghini body on a low and watch it do a wheelie. <laughs> But it, it definitely can sneak up on you if you don't spend the money right off the bat and get quality stuff. Uh, if you go with some of these cheaper plastic well, uh, toys. Well, as, like as we have seen, so Craig bought his son this one, it died. He bought his son this one, it died. He bought his son this one, it died. He bought his son the Lamborghini, it, it died. almost well. died, and he fixed it, and then we killed it anyway. And then the <laughs> Challenger was too slow to be any fun. So Yeah, and it got hung up it. in you my know. garage. Like the, yeah. On flat concrete, it got hung up. Yeah, well, I've seen your garage. The junkyard garage <laughs> does not have flat concrete. Let's get it's that flat over with. It's flat-ish, and he's poured <laughs> probably five gallons of concrete patch in it to attempt to yeah, get it closer to yeah. level. So it's getting there. It had five gallons of gaps, so his garage looked like the freaking San Andreas fault. So <laughs> it was that, an off-road course. That, yeah, that poor little Challenger had no chance in that garage. So we'll, I'll, I'll we'll give, give you that the one. Challenger. But anyway, those get those cars. They break and they throw up. This one, bizarre as it is, actually looks okay for a little kid. Yeah, like you know, you know, my my four year old is just kind of over that one because he can drive. Yeah, it's a two to the bigger three year old car, right? And it's so, 
Um, but it, it's so starter car, the RC28. I'm not having one yet. I still lean that that's a good idea. Yeah. Um, you know, it was out of stock when it was when I said, okay, I'm going to buy one for the show, and I bought the Traxxas. And I will admit, I haven't had an RC car since I was eight, and I feel like the guy in Ratatouille stabbing the Ratatouille and eating it. I f when I put the thing on and I go outside, I feel like an eight-year-old. Yeah. And you know, my wife calls me the 13-year-old stuck in a 50-year-old body. But when I'm driving the RC car, I don't even feel like a 13-year-old. I feel like an 8-year-old. I'm just, you know. And then w when you throw in some other toys, like the FPV camera with goggles, like it just ups the game That was kind of weird, yeah. I, I, like I don't it, know if, I, you know, and I'm waiting to see how we do with goggles. Because looking at it on the big screen TV, it, and, you know, admittedly, we just sort of, we rolled duct tape. We didn't actually Velcro it to the Yeah, screen. it was so wobbling it was a little, around a lot. So it was wobbling. Because this thing, you know, over in the junkyard garage with all those cracks, it, it was a little jittery, so we did not exactly have a smooth picture, but still different and fun and an and experimental thing to do, and, and uh, you know, we did it, and we'll so see where it goes. I think the bottom line with the, the RC hobby on us is we're average guys. We're not RC experts. Um, you know, we both just recently kind of... No, I think Tio's pushing expert. I saw a photo of his... Tio, uh, Tio's small definitely collection. That's his thing. He he loves everything RC. And, yeah, uh, his RC car garage from the picture I saw today is like Jay Leno's big dog garage. Yeah. So he's he must have the mini dog garage. <laughs> so <laughs> it's it, if you're stuck at home and you're bored and you still want to do something with a car, this is an amazing hobby to get into. And if you have kids at home, this is an even better hobby to get into because it, it helps them learn hand-eye coordination, gets yeah. them you know interested but in fixing things. If you're like me and you don't have kids. As soon as the COVID thing's lifted, Lemons Racing, we're going to be back. So hopefully we'll have the Rust Bucket Racing Team November in Houston. Um, <laughs> and if not, I saw that uh, one of the other teams I've hung out with, um, the uh, Calmero in Newport Beach, they've got their car up and running. So, uh, you, you know, hopefully Lemons will be back. They're doing the iRacing thing. I don't have a PC. He didn't get his set up. We didn't get signed <laughs> up in time for the last iRace with Lemons. Dr. Farr is wise um, beyond his years. What did he say? Dr. Farr said, uh, I don't believe he bought his son anything. Sounds like a way to keep his wife from catching on that the purchases were for Doc Josh. Well, that would be true for Dr. Josh. For Craig Railsback, <laughs> I think he was buying RC cars for his son, so his wife didn't notice in the same box from BH Photo or Amazon was a Canon lens or a <laughs> Macintosh or something else. Sorry, I hope didn't mean to throw Craig under the bus. But since I'm sure Lynette will never watch this, eh, we'll be okay with it. But it's uh, Craig Lynette. I know nothing about this. Yeah. <laughs> so everybody else does except Craig. He thinks he's pulling the wool over her eyes. She knows. She cleaned his garage. She knows everything out there. <laughs> he's busted. But it's um, yeah. It, 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 you know, I'll admit it's for not having a car right now to go play in. Although the, I, I've been cheating and running around the SLK. Yeah. That I've been good. riding my bike a lot. Yeah, you've been riding your bike a lot. Yeah. Um, it, it's, uh, the, the, it's just been – this week we opened up here in California. for those, And I don't know what other states are doing, but we the, today we had our, the first traffic jam in L.A. again since <laughs> eight, 12 weeks. Was that because so, of the protest right now? Because I know there's some no, stuff going well, on it was there. One, it was just the 101, normal traffic going yeah. in L.A. They, the, everybody's opened up, so they're back to work, and traffic's back. And, and Hollywood – Ironically, Hollywood isn't back, and that's usually the gauge that kills L.A. When school's in session, Hollywood's in session, so it just packs. But it didn't happen. So what's... Oh, Hacker Jacks wants to race dirt. And So with the other tires, the Traxxas is a lot of fun in the dirt. In I think he's referring to dirt four with the steering wheel. Oh. Because I think um, he's calling you out. You know, we're getting close. Uh, we <laughs> might be able to do that this weekend. If I don't have to go take care of a mouse problem that I've heard about, um, we, we might be able to have a little dirt for this weekend. So looking forward to our, our next uh, couple of episodes to cap the season off. We've still got the, the beers brewing. we got a nice yeah. foam cap on top. Still no yeah. action in the airlock. But uh, uh, we're bottling this weekend, so we'll... <laughs> <laughs> For better or worse. COVID slobber's coming. It's coming. Um, in fact, you know what we ought to do is in the package, since I haven't got Tio's address yet to send out his gift, we ought to include a bottle of COVID slobber. Sounds like we could do that. Because I think one bottle would slide with UPS. We'll just tell them it's liquid stuff. 
<laughs> it's just wort. <laughs> it, it's, it hasn't fermented yet. It hasn't fermented. Uh, yeah, uh, we could do, we could send him some stuff. It's a um, uh, malt beer. Root beer. I was, I don't we've know. also got some FPV stuff coming out once we We do, and hopefully that'll make shark. this season. If not, um, we, we really uh, we really do want to do them a service and do it right. And so if we can't, that, that may not make next week. It may end up in the finale the following week uh, to get it right. And if that one goes to an hour and a half or two hours just to get all this stuff in, we may do that just to kind of recap the month, the yep. year. And we got to get a cool, another Cool Toys Award out there and, and – uh, He's hoping that this is something that'll do it. I, I'm not. I don't know anything about this stuff other than watching our drone operator uh, use it. And um, you know, I have not. I have this much experience with that stuff up until we played with the little camera on top of the Jeep the other day. So, a lot of cool stuff. And we're looking. We're already starting to eyeball next season. We've got some good companies that have agreed to work with us, which is exciting news. And uh, we're looking forward to making this bigger, better, fatter, and faster. Yep. So you know we're on the Roku channel. We got Amazon uh, signed on now, and we should have Apple TV by season four. So a lot of great stuff. Um, I think that's the time for tonight. I really appreciate you watching Cool Toys. Thanks, and we hope to come back next week. See you guys.